Welcome, travelers, to a virtual journey through the majestic land of Russia. From historic cities to breathtaking natural wonders, Russia boasts a diverse tapestry of beauty and culture that is sure to captivate your imagination. In this video, we'll be uncovering the 20 best places to visit in Russia, giving you a sneak peek into the treasures this incredible country has to offer. If you're ready to embark on this adventure with us, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exhilarating travel content. Now, let's dive into the wonder that is Russia. Number 20. Moscow City Travelers are often surprised by the impressive appearance of the financial center of Moscow. As the capital is the largest economic center in the country, the skyline of Moscow is dominated by modern skyscrapers. Although the construction of tall buildings is not new to Russia, the first Western-style skyscrapers appeared on the background of the city only in the 21st century, with most of them highest structures completed after 2010. By 2021, the tallest building in the city is the Federation Tower, which rises to an impressive height of 1,227 feet. Number 19. St. Basil's Cathedral and Red Square St. Basil's Cathedral and Red Square are the most recognizable and iconic landmarks in Russia. The square was initially created as a marketplace in the distant 12th century. Over the centuries, it has been gradually enlarged and built up. It acquired its modern appearance only in the 18th century. The Orthodox temple itself is even older, with its construction taking place between 1555 and 1561. The Red Square and the majestic St. Basil's Cathedral were inscribed in UNESCOELCO World Heritage List in 1990. Number 18 is Maylovo. Travelers often describe Izmailovo as the most charming place in Russia. Founded as a village in the late 14th century, today it is part of the historic center of Moscow. It plays the role of a major open-air tourist landmark, attracting visitors with its unique architecture, colorful and well-preserved historic buildings, cobbled streets and numerous entertainment. Opportunities Traditionally for the old Russian architecture, most of the buildings were built of stone and wood. Number 17. Kremlin A symbol of power in Russia and a true cultural monument under the open sky, the Kremlin is among the most recognizable landmarks of the Russian Federation. Built between 1482 and 1495, it is a fortified complex with an area of 27.7 hectares in the heart of the capital. The complex was included in UNICO's World Heritage List along with the Red Square in 1990. As they are built of red bricks, the walls of the Kremlin are known for their specific natural red color. It is very interesting to mention that until the 19th century, they used to apply white paint over the walls as part of the regular maintenance of the fortress, so the Kremlin looked quite different. Number 16. Feeding Park Feeding Park in Moscow is one of the most popular places for recreation, walks, and entertainment in the Russian capital. The park was built during the Stalin era between 1935 and 1939 as an exhibition center and was completely renovated in 2014. Over the last years, the complex includes the Moscow Botanical Garden, so you will have the opportunity to visit them both at the same time. 
St. Petersburg is the most beautiful and romantic Russian city. Situated on the shores of the Baltic Sea, it is known as Venice of the North. It is famous for its amazing architecture, great variety of museums, theaters, palaces, and churches. Number 15. St. Petersburg Canals St. Petersburg is known for its huge network of canals. They are approximately 70 in number of which 50 are natural and 20 are artificially created for drainage reasons. As the city is located at a very low altitude above sea level, and the terrain was quite swampy, the frequent floods were quite a serious problem, especially after heavy rainfalls and high water on the river. The canals completely solved this problem and gave the city a unique charm. Many of them freeze completely between early December and early April. Number 14. Peterhof If you have to choose just one place to visit in Russia, it should be the Peterhof Palace Complex. It is located on the southwest outskirts of the city, and it takes between an hour and an hour and a half and a half to get there from the downtown of St. Petersburg, depending on the transport you choose. The beginning of the construction of the complex took place at the very beginning of the 18th century, in 1705. However, it took more than a century before the complex acquired its present splendor and charm. For example, one of the biggest landmarks, the fountains, were created only in the 19th century. Number 13. Hermitage Museum the Hermitage was established in 1746 to serve as a winter palace for Catherine the Great. Today it is not only the symbol of St. Petersburg and the most photographed building in the city, but it is also the second largest art museum in the world. It is located on the south bank of the mainstream of the Neva River, next to the Admiralty and is surrounded by elegant squares and lovely gardens. Number 12. Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood Constructed between 1883 and 1907 by order of the royal family Romanovi, the Savior on Spilled Blood is a former cathedral that today functions as one of the most visited museums in St. Petersburg. It is located not far from the beautiful Mikhailovsky Park in the central part of the city, and is easily recognizable from afar thanks to its colorful domains. The former Orthodox Cathedral rises 266 ft, 81 m above the city. The building was designed as a mixture between neoclassicism and elegant Baroque style. Number 11. Kazan Cathedral of St. Petersburg Looking more like a palace than as an Orthodox temple, the Kazan Cathedral is one of the most famous buildings in Russia's old imperial capital. Its construction began in 1801 and was completed 10 years later, in 1811. It is modeled on the majestic St. Peter's Basilica in Rome and the elegant neoclassical Helsinki Cathedral. The majestic bronze gates are a copy of the doors of the baptistery in Florence, Italy. Number 10. Baikal Lake Along with Crater Lake in Oregon, USA Lake Baikal is considered the most beautiful in the world. During the different seasons it changes beyond recognition. In winter, the area is hidden under a thick snow cover, and the lake remains covered with 5-6 F device. In summer, Lake Baikal is a magnet for wildlife lovers. Being the deepest in the world, 
The lake is known for its crystal clear emerald waters and wonderful swimming conditions during the summer season. Baikal is located in Siberia, but as it falls in the southernmost parts of the region, the place has a temperate continental climate. Summer is very short, but if you come here in late July and early August, the probability of encountering sunny weather and temperatures around 6877F is very high. Number 9. Olkhan Island Olkhan Island is located less than a mile off the west shore of Bagal Lake. It is known for the most attractive in Russia soft golden sandy beaches, and approximately of its territory is covered with beautiful and untouched forests. Apart from the beautiful nature, the island is famous for always being shrouded in mystery. It is believed that the place is imbued with a powerful positive energy, which attracts fans of shamanism from around the world. Olkhan Island has a moderate continental climate, so July and early August bring the best weather conditions here. The island experiences pleasant temperatures of around 77 FAE, in combination with clear skies and plenty of sunshine. Its wonderful beaches attract swimmers and beachgoers. Number 8. Altai Mountains The Altai Mountains are one of the wildest and most untouched places in Russia. They are situated in some of the most remote and isolated areas of Central Asia, close to China, Kazakhstan, and Mongolia. The area is harsh and very sparsely populated, which is why the landscape has been preserved completely unchanged. The area is a mosaic of dense mountain forests, snow-capped mountain peaks, vast plains and almost no traces of civilization. Although very beautiful, the place attracts relatively few visitors because of the need for serious preparation before traveling. Number 7. Yenisei River the Yenisei River is one of the most powerful and majestic rivers in Asia. It crosses the endless plains and plateaus of Siberia from south to north and flows into the Arctic Ocean after 2167 MEE, although the European Volga River has traditionally attracted the majority of river cruise lovers, the Yenisei is becoming an increasingly attractive tourist destination as it passes through some of the least populated and most untouched areas of the country. Summer is the best time to enjoy a long boat trip on the Yenisei River. In June and July, you will enjoy lovely temperatures of around 68 F or even more. Number 6. Vladivostok Being a center of science, education, and art, Vladivostok is one of the most remote and secluded cities not only in Russia, but in the world. It is located in the southern part of the Primorsky Kray, and the first thing tourists notice here is the scenic location. The old part of Vladivostok has a very beautiful architecture. Here you can feel a light Asian influence, but the vast majority of the buildings are in German Gothic or Romanesque architecture style. The modern buildings and engineering facilities complement the urban environment, making Vladivostok one of the most harmonious cities in Russia. Among the main attractions here is Tokarev Lighthouse, which was completed in 1913. With its picturesque location, it attracts artists and photographers from around the world. Number 5. Kamchatka If you want to travel off the beaten tracks in Russia, Kamchatka is the best place. Covered with dense, unspoiled boreal forests, it is a land of unique natural beauty. It is located on the Pacific coast, approximately 3,882 miles east of Moscow. 
The easiest way to get there is to take advantage of the regular daily lines between Moscow and Kamchatka. The duration of the flight is approximately eight and a half hours. The peninsula is extremely sparsely populated, and approximately one slash three of its territory has been declared a protected area. The biggest attraction here are the volcanoes. They are about 300, but only 10% of them are active. Among the most interesting for scientists are the volcanoes, Avachinsky, Gorily, and Mutnovsky. The Yuzhan caldera, on the other hand, is one of the largest geothermal fields in Russia and in the world. Number 4. Vyborg Vyborg is a small but unique city in Russia, located 70 miles northwest of St. Petersburg, near the Finnish border. It was founded by the Swedes in 1293, but was conquered by Russia in the early 18th century. It had become part of Finland in 1918, but later it was rejoined to Russia again in 1940. Vyborg is differing from any other city in the country because it has a typical Scandinavian architecture. With its extraordinary atmosphere, it attracts visitors both from Russia and from abroad. As it has a marine temperate climate, the best time of the year to visit Vyborg is July. It brings pleasant and comfortable temperatures of around 74 F in combination with clear skies and plenty of sunshine. Number 3. Kazan If you want to visit a place where people of different ethnicities, cultures, and religions coexist together in Russia, you should visit the city of Kazan. Here, in this very beautiful modern city, Muslims and Orthodox Christians have lived together for centuries. Nowadays, Kazan is the largest and most important economic and cultural center of Tatarstan. The most famous landmark is the Kazan Kremlin, which was included in UNESCO's World Heritage List in 2000. Here you will find the unique Kol Sharif Mosque, which is known as one of the symbols of the city. The best time to visit Kazan is in summer. It brings temperatures between 74 and 79 FA 23 and 26 CE, with June and July being the best time to enjoy the city. Number 2. Tereburka Located in the far north of European Russia, Tereburka has a declining population, but at the same time, it enjoys a growing popularity. The people visiting the small town with a population of less than 1,000 residents are not many, but their number is constantly increasing because of the unique spirit of the place. There are hundreds of small lakes scattered in the area. They are covered with thick ice and snow during the winter months. It is not uncommon to see a polar bear roaming the surrounding tundra, so you have to be careful. The town is known for its numerous unique traditions and sporting events, including deer races, husky safaras, and many others. Number 1. Sochi Nestled between the Caucasus Mountains and the sunny Black Sea coast of Russia, the city of Sochi is known for its beautiful architecture, lovely parks and gardens, numerous museums and comfortable urban environment. The city is undoubtedly one of the most attractive to live or visit in Russia and is already on the list of cities that have hosted the Winter Olympics. Sochi is famous for its warm subtropical Mediterranean climate and beautiful beaches covered with silver pebbles. The seawater is very clear and the beaches are full of visitors from early June until September. Sochi enjoys lovely weather year-round, but if you want to take advantage of the beautiful beaches, you should go between early June and early to mid-September. The average temperature during the day in the period is between 77 and 82 F.
And there you have it, fellow explorers. The top 20 must-visit destinations in Russia that left us in awe. From the grandeur of Moscow's Red Square to the serene beauty of Lake Baikal, Russia is a land of contrasts and enchantment. If you enjoyed this journey and want to see more captivating travel guides and destination spotlights, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support keeps the wanderlust alive. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep exploring, and keep expanding your horizons. Safe travels.